Ooh, this guy is at a bar and he sees a cute girl and he wants to talk to her. He wants to go over there and start a conversation with her. But he doesn't know how. What should he say? Do you know what to say? Well, in this lesson, I'm going to give you some ideas. Hey, if you like getting some tips like this, I would be so happy if you subscribe to my channel right down there. Okay, so probably the most common thing people say is, hey, can I buy you a drink? Hi, can I buy you a drink? Or, hi, how are you? I'm doing great, thanks. And yourself? I'm doing great. Can I buy you a drink? Okay, then... If she says yes, then you could say, what would you like? If she says no, well, then you can go shoot yourself, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't commit suicide just because a woman shuts you down. If she says no, then she's shutting you down. Shutting you down, that means rejecting you. But hopefully she says yes, and then you can say, what would you like? Or you can say, what's your favorite drink? Okay, what's your favorite drink? Uh, or you could say this, would you like to do a shot of tequila? Would you like to do a shot of tequila? That means to do a shot together, okay, together. You each have a shot and you do that. So a shot is a small amount of alcohol in a shot glass. Okay, this is a shot glass right here. Now, you don't drink beer from a shot glass, you don't drink wine, you drink hard liquor. Hard liquor, that means like uh, whiskey, vodka, rum, tequila, anything with a higher percentage of alcohol, usually 40%, right? Most of those drinks have 40. Let's see, does this say 40? Hmm, it probably says right here, but it's too small for me to read it, okay? So, that's what it means to do shots, to do shots together. Like, if you're at a party, people might say, hey, we're doing shots, come join us, we're doing shots. Okay, so it's like a social activity. People do it together, okay, they do shots. So, when you ask her, would you like to do a shot of tequila, that means together. You each do one, cheers, and then you, <laughs> you drink it all in one shot. That's why it's called a shot, just one. You don't sip it. That's called sipping. Like you sip your coffee or you sip a glass of wine. No, with shots, you just one shot, right? Um, so if she says yes, then you could ask the bartender, uh, could we get two shots of tequila? Could we get two shots of tequila, please? Okay, this guy is the bartender. The bartender. Okay, now let's say she says her favorite drink is wine. Okay, wine. Then you could ask her, do you prefer red or white? Red or white. Most people who drink wine prefer either red or white, right? Which one do you prefer? Personally, I prefer red. So let's say she says red, red wine, okay? Then you could ask the bartender, you could say, could we get two glasses of red wine? Could we get two glasses of red wine, please? Okay, now what if she says beer? Then you could ask her this, do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite that means do you have a favorite kind of beer? And she might say, I like everything. I like everything. Okay, that means I like every kind of beer. Okay, then you could ask the bartender, which beers do you have on tap? On tap. Okay, that means this. Look at all these beers in a pub or a bar. On tap, it means you can pour the beer into a pint glass, right? At a bar or a pub, you drink out of a pint glass, okay? So then you could say, we'll get two pints of Heineken, please. Okay, this is a pint, and that's a pint. We'll get two pints 
of Heineken. Okay, or if you want to drink, maybe if you just prefer drinking beer from a bottle, I don't know why people go to a bar and order beer in a bottle. It doesn't make any sense. Because if you want a bottle, you can just go buy some and drink it at home, right? If you go to a bar, at least for me, it makes sense to order a pint of some beer on tap, right? But anyway, if you want to order beer in a bottle, you could say this. We'll get two bottles of Corona, please. Okay? And then, the most important thing is that you just say cheers and enjoy your beer. And then, just start a normal conversation. Just have a, a casual conversation. So, what should you talk about with her? Well, you might want to say, what do you do for work? What do you do for work? Um, or, how's your weekend going? How's your weekend going? Or, what do you do for fun? What do you do for fun? That means, what are your hobbies? Okay. Um, now, let's say you have a great evening together. Hopefully, you enjoy your time together. And then, at the end of the evening, uh, before you leave, you might want to ask her, did you drive here? Did you drive here? Because if she's been drinking, um, she shouldn't drive, right? So it's good to, to ask her that. Um, let's say she didn't drive. She just, she just walked or something like that. Then um, you could offer to drive her back to her house, okay? So you could say, would you like a ride home? Would you like a ride home? That means you will take her in your car to her house, okay? But if you've been drinking quite a bit, then don't do that, right? I mean, if you've had maybe one or two beers, that's okay. That's You're probably fine to drive. But if you're feeling a little bit tipsy, then don't drive. Do not drink and drive because that kills people and you don't want to kill people. Hey, I want to know, have you ever talked with a stranger in a bar in English? Maybe in your language you have, but in English, have you ever talked with a stranger in a bar? I have, you know, not too many times, but I have several times. I usually don't go to bars or pubs very often, only, you know, maybe once a year or twice a year or something like that. Um, but I'm not an expert. I'm not very good at talking to strangers. I'm a little bit too shy to go talk to strangers in a bar. But I want to know, have you ever done that? If you have, then I want to applaud you. Let me know down there in the comments and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care. <laughs>